Nigerians head to the poll amidst the scarcity of fuel and narrow notes. It has become a daily struggle and a concern for Kano State residents. Our correspondent, Stephen Enoch, has more in this report. The economic hardship occasioned by the scarcity of petrol and narrow notes has continued to frustrate residents and many fear it may have an adverse effect on the general elections. While many feel that the petrol scarcity is a deliberate attempt to frustrate Nigerians, others feel that the CBN's narrow redesign policy is ill-timed. <laughs> In fact, I cannot see how this election is going to take place because even the INEC are complaining of, of a uh, shortage of cash. Fuel is, fuel is scarce. To pay for your transportation is an issue. Not everybody uses POS. Not, not everybody uses transfer. It's very, very hard. Like, you can't, you can't really access anything. So who feed is an issue? So how do you expect to start voting for somebody? Who do you even know you want to vote for? Kai, this thing is very hard one like because of this uh, this election ma kai seri angali koi you know this thing since money i did for inside this bank well i need i i i, I almost spent like five hours before i enter kai i don't suffer this thing kai just go and go you pray for god one life for this thing one life koi i just feel like things are not going right if it's not that the whole election thing has been planned out i feel it should probably just be cancelled because things are not really going on well. I don't think anybody is in their right frame of mind to even vote right now. But hopefully, um, Nigerians are going to come together and vote for the right person that can take us out of this quagmire, you know. This election that is coming up on Saturday, please, I will advise our, my fellow Nigerians to try and come out. Please, let's vote the right um, um, candidates. Please, honestly, this thing is really affecting us here. Even I don't even have cash. I have to borrow um, 500 this morning. I have to borrow 500 and I don't even know how to pay back because I can't even leave my work and go stand in that queue. They, they want them to sack me where I'm working. So thank you, honestly, I'm not happy with it. Electorates are hopeful that Nigeria's next president will end the economic hardship bedeviling the country. Stephen Enoch, Plus TV News, Kano. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.